What's happening guys? It's your friend Jerry Aguirre here and I wanted to make a quick video of a LED conversion that I just did on my uh, 2017 F-150 XLT Sport model. Um, I originally swapped out the, the stock headlights that it had to the Anzos. I love that product. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, none of the brands that I'm gonna mention uh, right now are paying me in any way or praising me in any way to to put them on my video uh, but yeah anyway I did the conversion to the LEDs switched out the halogens got rid of that ugly yellow uh, light and I switched it out to the 5000k I believe or the 6000k it's uh, the cool white it's it's called and um, so yeah uh, let me just make a quick video. I just wanted to show you the difference. To the Hikari. And then this is the new LED uh, turn signal. As you can see, this is the old one. So this one has a Centic low beam. I haven't made the switch on this one. This is the driver's side. And you could see the stock turn signal bulb. The halogen. So, right now I'm just going to make the switch into this one as well, and I'll see you guys right now. Oh, before I, I forget, let me show you what I did on the high beams as well. So, as you can see, I did the conversion. Uh, let me see. Let me try to focus the camera here. I did LED for both low beam and high beam and this one still has a LED LED right here the old one and then the stock halogen so when I finish installing the bulbs on the driver's side I'll get back to you guys all right guys so this is my street right here i just wanted to show you guys the difference uh this side is the hikari as you could see it's a little brighter than the centic uh the centic kind of i don't know if you could really appreciate the image on the camera but the centic seems to kind of lose the the brightness uh the centic is on the left hikari is on the right like I said, I believe the Hikari is uh, 12,000 lumens and the Zentec is 7,000. So here, let me do a quick drive here to a darker street. That way you could see a little bit better. This is probably the best I could do right now. Um, yeah, on the camera you can't really tell, you know, but uh, live, I could really see the difference and I really 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 love the new Hikari uh, bulbs hopefully they last as long as the Centex I've, I've had the Centex for like a little bit over a year now and so far so good I can't complain about that one all right guys just finished installing both sides with the Hikari LED uh, 12,000 lumens uh, as you could see, I don't know if you could tell from the previous videos, but uh, or the pre previous recordings, that I mean, it increased the visibility by a lot. I mean, yeah, you can really appreciate it from this camera. Uh, I have a new camera coming up. It's uh, it's gonna be the, one of the Canons. Uh, right now, I'm just recording with my my iPhone, and this is what I have right now. But I mean. It's, it's increased very, very, very good. I'm very satisfied with this product. Also, one other cool feature that the uh, Ansel headlights have is they have this little screw right here, that one. That one you use it to adjust uh, the projector headlights. Um, I had a Tundra, 2016 Tundra, and I put I went ahead with, uh, and put the spider headlights with the uh, projectors. That one didn't have that bolt you would actually have to go through the back uh, to adjust them so this one's way better it's more convenient and I just use my drill it's way simpler 
So let me go ahead and do that. And I don't know if you could see. See it going up and down. So there I could adjust it that way it doesn't blind the drivers, oncoming drivers. You know, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> This video helped you guys out in uh, deciding what the uh, decision with the LED bulbs. You know, um, I know that you can really tell it here in the camera because it's it's my iPhone. Uh, like I said, I have a brand new camera coming up. Uh, I purchased one of the Canon T6i Rebel. So hopefully, with that camera, I'm gonna be making a, a higher quality video. And uh, just to let you know, Hikari LED bulbs are running about $90 per the pair. The Centex are running $40 per pair. So if you don't mind spending the extra $50 or uh, $40, $50, you know, depending on where, uh, what your provider, your seller, uh, if you don't mind spending that extra cash, I really would recommend the Hikari just simply because they give a higher output and you could see way better uh, during the night. So hopefully you guys enjoyed my video. Stay tuned because I will be making more videos about my uh, F-150. I'll be making more fitness videos and just personal vlogs. Okay, so stay tuned. If you like the video, like the video and subscribe to my channel. It would really, really help me out with that. Okay, thank you guys. You have a great day.